Near the end of the book, My Sister the Serial Killer, the debut novel by Nigerian author Oyinkan Braithwaite, the character of Ayola has just been stabbed and has been taken to the hospital by her sister Corday and her boyfriend Tade, despite Tade being the one that stabbed her. While waiting to hear about Ayola, the two characters share this exchange. You know I didn't mean to do it, right? We were both struggling and I... You said yourself that she's dangerous. Didn't you tell anyone what happened? He asks in a quiet voice. No, I say, pouring a cup of water. And you're not going to either. What? If you say anything about any of this, I will tell them that you attacked her. And who do you think they will believe? You or Iola? You know I'm innocent. You know I was defending myself. Despite what the authorities will end up believing, and despite the fact that Tate is punished for what was effectively self-defense, Cordy lies for her sister in the end, allowing her to continue her murderous ways. Throughout the book, Cordy tried to warn Tate to get out of this relationship. Ayola's last three boyfriends all ended up dead by her hand, and because of Cordy's own feelings towards Tate, she didn't want that to happen to him. Her sudden surprising shift in alignments at the end is not so sudden when you look at the evidence laid out in the book beforehand. The sisters shared a traumatic childhood at the hands of their father. Corday, being the oldest, served as her sister's protector when their mother wasn't able to. She was willing to rationalise her sister's murders up until this point, as each of the kill seemed to have a motive, although she herself even realised that Ayola's excuses were dubious at best. The character of Mutar is Corday's only chance at redemption, at least how I see it. He's comatose for a lot of the book, and because he's a patient in the hospital Corday works at, she tells him all about what her sister gets up to. I imagine that keeping a massive secret that one of your close relatives is a murderer is a heavy load to carry, so this is effectively Corday's way to get it off her chest. When Mutar does wake up, he still remembers everything Corday told him, and before he leaves the hospital, he gives her his number so that they can stay in contact. Maybe you could give me your number and I can WhatsApp you. I cannot think of what to say. Does Mutar exist outside these walls? Who is he, besides a man who knows my deepest secrets? And Ayola's. Continuing to keep in contact with Mutar would be acknowledging that there is someone out there that knows her secret, that knows of her crimes. In the end, she burns Mutar's number, effectively closing the door on redemption. Sometimes we'll do anything for the people we love, people who need us. Maybe it's because we need them to need us. If Ayola went to jail, who would Cordy have left to protect? The sisters share a history of abuse, and despite Cordy's occasional feelings of envy towards Ayola for her beauty, she realises that because of that beauty, no one really bothers to look at who she is as a person. Tade, what do you feel about my sister? Everything. But if you had to be specific. She's just so... I mean... She's beautiful and perfect. I've never wanted to be with someone this much. I rub my forehead with my fingers. He fails to point out the fact that she laughs at the silliest things and never holds a grudge. He hadn't mentioned how quick she is to cheat at games or that she can hemstitch a skirt without even looking at her fingers. He doesn't know her best features or her darkest secrets and he doesn't seem to care. I just want to end this video by saying that I in no way condone Cordy Ariola's actions and would actually say that Tate is the most innocent character in the book. But it's interesting to look at how these flawed characters can tap into real life, allowing us to experience the toughest of situations so we can examine what we would do if we were in these positions ourselves. I would like to think that I'd help keep an innocent man out of prison, but then again, no one really knows what they'd do. I really enjoyed this book. Its prose flowed very well and I really loved the varying chapter lengths because it kept me constantly engaged. Um, I think there were some subplots that really didn't achieve their full potential, but despite that I really liked the story. Well with that said, I hope you guys had a nice Halloween and you all stay safe.